Hello, welcome back. I'm Lori Williams. Today, honestly, I don't know who I'm making this video for. I don't honestly know if maybe it's just for me. And that's fine too. Um, so basically this week has been so much growth for me. So much like deep introspection and things have been hitting me left, right and center. Um, there's just so much going on right now and I, I will talk about it one day, but I'm just not ready to yet. Um, but there's something that really hit me this morning through a conversation, um, with, with a very close friend. Um, and I wanted to share this because I know a lot of people are struggling. I know a lot of people struggle to get out of bed every single day. They struggle to get dressed. They struggle to do the seemingly mundane day-to-day -day aspects of, you know, keeping their home clean, keeping themselves clean, um, making sure that they're eating, drinking, things like that. And I want to share the deep realization of, because today I honestly feel like my life has come full circle today, April 22nd of 2023. I feel like I understand why everything had to happen exactly as it did. And don't get me wrong. I'm a firm believer that we don't always have to know um, why things happen the way they do. And quite honestly, I mean, um, I'm very aware of the fact that in a lot of cases, our human brain cannot even begin to fathom what we're going through or the why and how of things because you know we're just not meant to make sense of that and I've learned over the years to let that be okay too but what I'm talking about goes so much deeper than all of that is today I I was looking into the way things have turned out in my life and it just I mean I've done this before but it just it hit different today and and I wanted to come on and just share this because if this even reaches one person, then I'm grateful for that. As you guys probably know, um, if you're new to me, you probably don't know this, but if you've been following me for a while, then you do. Um, I suffered with suicidal depression for close to 20 years. Um, PTSD, huge, like major traumas going on in my life. Um, you know, did I have like the worst of the worst traumas? Absolutely not. Um, but I had, you know, everybody has traumas and I had mine. And January 23rd of 2014, I found myself on the side of a back road on the way to an appointment. Deciding if I was going to live or die that day. And by the time I was done on the side of that road, I'd given myself 30 days to either heal myself of suicidal depression or take my life. I look back now and I realize how seemingly unworthy my life was to me back then. My, my life is worth more than 30 days, you know, and, and I, never, I never realized it then. It's like 30 days is nothing. But I'm grateful for the fact that everything from that day forward was put on my path to save me. For me to save myself, ultimately, is what, it, what happened. And it hit me today. The true power and the divine intervention that's had to happen for me to be here and not for just me to be here but to realize that all of the gifts that I have I have gone on to not only save myself but to help so many people learn to save themselves as well and none of that would have been possible if that 30 day time frame I gave myself nine years ago over nine years ago would have turned out different I didn't even realize it back then 
I hadn't even begun to live. I was just struggling to survive. I wouldn't have met all the people I met along the way. I wouldn't have been able to help the people that have helped along the way. And I think the saddest part is the fact that I would never have met who I am now. I would have never met this highest version of me. And I think that's the true, the truly saddest part of all of that. We don't stop to realize that when we're born into this world, we leave a ripple effect for the people that we touch every single day. And sometimes life gets hard and sometimes life gets heavy and sometimes we don't know how we're going to make it through. But what if the version of you that's struggling to just make it through today is the stepping stone for you meeting the best and highest version of yourself? What if in you trying to just to breathe without it hurting, what if that is leading to you becoming the person that's going to help breathe life into others in some way, shape, or form. I know back then, I would have never been able to see what I see today. I was so far in pain. I was so deep into my mental health illness. There was no light at the end of the tunnel. So I wanted to do this video because if you are currently where I was in January 23rd of 2014, it's up to you to give yourself meaning. It's up to you to give your life meaning. Honestly, I'm so grateful for the fact that I didn't make a rash decision that day to end my life. Because initially I did. That's what caused that breakdown on the side of the road. So that I had already made the decision to end my life that day. And something told me to give myself 30 days. 30 days was all I needed to start the transformation and start to see the difference. It wasn't... I mean, I'm still healing. I'm still becoming the new and higher version of myself. But mental health il illnesses can be healed. <sighs> you can be healed. And you can heal yourself. I hope you give your, yourself and your life more meaning than 30 days. And I hope you give your life more meaning and more value than deciding to not be here anymore. Because this world is a better place because you're in it. And I don't have to know you to say that. I know that everybody that's here in this world right now is here for something great. I fully, firmly believe that. If you weren't here for something great, or if you were needed to be called back home, you would be. I do believe in a higher power that would make that happen. Reach out to me, to anybody that can actually help you. I offer free consultations, and in those free consultations, I have seen miracles happen where people who felt like they couldn't even find happiness start to find within that one session. They find their hope again, and they find happiness again, and the sadness feels a little less heavy. I honestly feel like this is a big part of what I'm in, in this world to do and to be. 
is to help people to learn that they have the power to heal themselves. The things we go through, the traumas we experience aren't meant to keep us broken. We're meant to take those broken pieces and build something great. Our own greatness. But I also understand that everybody has to do that on their own time. I just hope that if you need to hear that you're worthy of being here, that you find this video. Because you haven't even begun to make the impact that you could. And you could be like me where nine, over nine years later, you realize the impact that you've actually made. And I don't hold on to it with a sense of pride, of ego. I hold on to that with a sense of gratitude. A deep gratitude for the life I almost ended. There's a lot of processing happening. There's a lot of growth happening with me right now. And it's been beautiful and it's been heavy and it's been, sometimes it gets a bit dark and that's okay. Not dark in a negative way. Dark in a things are coming to light and I know I'm stepping into the next highest version of me and I'm grateful for that. But I couldn't not make this video today. I couldn't let anybody who's struggling believe for one minute that they didn't deserve to be here. If you need this video, I hope it finds you. And I hope you find the versions of yourself like I did that are truly magical. I hope you heal. I didn't honestly plan on coming in this video and being like a, a completely sobbing mess, but I'm totally okay with feeling feelings too. And, and sometimes overflowing flowing feelings have to come out through tears. I just wanted to share this with you to show you what's possible to show you somebody from where I was to where I am now. I've truly helped hundreds of people. Like I said, I don't say that in ego. I say that in gratitude. And I feel like, you know, embracing the human part of us is part of it, part of what we're here for. But being of service and giving back to others that's when your life comes full circle. That's when the energy of your life, of your being, comes full circle. I'm so grateful I'm here to do that. It's been a hell of a ride. Has it been easy? No. When I first started, I thought the healing process was the hardest part. Healing for me now is quite easy. You know, I've been doing it for over nine years. It's, it's quite easy for me to heal now. Processing it still feels like a lot, as you can tell by the look on my face. Um, processing becomes uh, a lot harder, I think, as you go deeper into it. But I'm letting that be okay, too. If I can give hope to one person, then it's all worth it. You have value. You're worthy of being here. And we need you. As society, as humanity, we need you. If you're struggling in this society, I get it. Ultimately, we typically struggle in a society because it doesn't honor and embrace who, who we are. So I get that. 
but you can also create the person that you're meant to be. Partially create, partially find the person that you're meant to be. And that's when the magic of your life makes sense. All right. Like I said, I don't know who they're making this video for. Even if it's for myself, it's, it's still worth it. I hope you all have a beautiful and magical day. And I will see you back here next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now.